First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings to you brothers and sisters throughout the four corners of the earth that are waiting on the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. This is Hawa Yala, just going into another installment, of course, uh, concerning three days and three nights. And this is just going to kind of just deal with uh, a bit of the prophecy of just three days and three nights, just wanting to establish, um, you know, some of the things that were written in the scriptures. So we're just going to go ahead and start off at Matthew chapter 12 and verse 40. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the well's belly, so shall the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Okay, so that's basically, this is all the words of, you know, Yahweh Shai uh, saying, you know, signifying about the time frame in which, you know, he would be, you know, uh, in the grave. Okay. Now, you go into uh, the book of Jonah, chapter 1 and verse 17. It says, Now Yahweh had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Okay? So that's basically where that's coming from. All right? Because uh, the things in the scriptures that happen a lot of times in the uh, Old Testament, as it's called, is basically, you know, an, or similitudes, all right, of things that happen, you know, with you know, Yahweh Shai, okay, so that was the reason, part of the reason why, you know, when this happened, it was just signifying that very thing that was found in uh, Matthew, the 12th chapter, now we're going to go on further on with some of the other things that Yahweh Shai said to uh, the disciples, this is Matthew chapter 20 and verse 18, behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the son of man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death. And shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify him. And the third day he shall rise again. Okay, so he's saying it again. We're just establishing that he's going to rise on the third day. So we're going to go on to Mark chapter 9 and verse 31. For he taught his disciples and said unto them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him. And after that, he is killed, he shall rise the third day. But they understood not that saying and were afraid to ask him. Okay, so they. this is also just another thing. And he said this throughout the, his ministry about, you know, signifying the kind of death and the resurrection because the part, the key aspect of our gospel is the the death and resurrection, right, of Yahweh Shai, right, him dying for our sins and also being risen from the dead all right by the heavenly father okay and that's the key aspect of our faith and that's the reason why even um you know the apostle paul even says that he preached to uh many yahweh shai crucified for our sins and being raised from the dead and when you go into different aspects of the uh you know some of the different times when you know the apostles in the book of acts uh, especially early on when they had a, a when they were talking to a lot of the people that was what they were pushing heavily, you know, and that's one of the aspects and things that we have to continue to push because it's considered a basic thing. It's something that people have heard growing up in Christianity, but it's something that is not really, you know, uh, understood the importance and significance of that because of the fact that a lot of things have been, you know, lied about uh, concerning our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and things have been kind of misconstrued, you know, over the time since, uh, you know, since that event occurred, especially in these latter days. Right, so going on, you know, further, this is uh, Mark chapter 10 and verse 32. And they were in the way going up to Jerusalem, and Yahweh Shai went before them, and they were amazed. And as they followed, they were afraid. And he took again the twelve and began to tell them what things should happen unto him, saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests unto the scribes and they shall condemn him to death and shall deliver him to the gentiles and they shall mock him and shall scourge him and shall spit upon him and shall kill him and the third day he shall rise again okay and uh you know that's a key aspect because one of the things that people say especially um you know people that don't believe on yahweh they say that oh well all the, the jews delivered him up but when you go into the scriptures, it clearly says that this was a council and a thing that happened and that was done, you know, by the chief priests and the scribes, you know, and, the, and some of the elders as well, 
that all came together to uh, condemn Yahweh Shai to death, which ended up being, you know, leading to really, you know, uh, us being able to receive, you know, salvation, you know, so that whole act. But it's important to know, you know, that as well. And uh, this was all, you know, prophesied to occur. And as we're, we're doing in this lesson, we're establishing the fact that he rose on the third day. Okay. So we're going to go into Luke chapter 18 and verse 31. Then he took unto him the twelve and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem and all the things that are written by the prophets concerning the son of man shall be accomplished. Which one of those that was written concerning that was written by the prophets concerning, you know, Yahweh Shai that was to be accomplished is also the similitude of the of Jonah being in the belly of the well. That was an out that was an allegory of what was going to happen with, you know, Yahweh Shai. That's what it was set up to be. So going on to verse 32, for he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles and shall be mocked and spitefully entreated and spitted upon. You know, and that's the kind of, you know, humiliation that he, he, he faced, you know, for us, you know, in, in order to, you know, redeem us back to the father, you know, and, uh, you know, this is why he, you know, it just continued going over it. It just keeps on, you know, drilling home exactly, you know, what kind of sacrifice and what kind of thing that, uh, what great work that Yahweh did, you know, on, on the behalf of our nation, starting with the elect, you know, to make it, it to be basically that mediator between, you know, us and the Father. That's the only reason why we're able to uh, receive even this knowledge and even be able to even have a chance at everlasting salvation. Verse 33, and they shall scourge him and put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. Okay. So this is, again, we're establishing on the third day he shall rise again. All right. Because this, this uh, series is called three days and three nights. This is uh, Luke chapter 24, verse four. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed. Thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. So this is after he had uh, was resurrected. OK, and they went to the sepulcher to see if they can, you know, find him. And of course, he wasn't there. Verse five. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, why seek ye the living among the dead? Right now, these were uh, two angels. OK, that were saying this. He is not here, but is risen which is a key aspect of our faith that he basically he died and he was buried three days and three nights and he rose from the dead. All right. Which that's what you have. You'd actually have to believe that that's part of the faith is believing, you know, upon the name of Yahweh Shai, worshiping the spirit and truth and believing in his, in the death and the power of his resurrection through, you know, the father. Okay. And that's a key element. That is a key aspect of, uh, of our faith. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. And this is the angels or angels are repeating what was spoken already. OK, so they didn't have no new uh, thing about what would happen to him. They basically said the same exact thing that he was saying and these other accounts as well. Okay. And we're going to finish it off with this last uh, scripture, this last account, which is uh, later on. This is Luke chapter 24 and verse 41. It says, And while they were yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and a an honeycomb. And he took it and he ate before them. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you, which I, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. All right, because you got multiple scriptures throughout, uh, you know, the Old Testament and you know, even in, you know, different areas, if you want to talk about the Apocrypha that talked about the coming of Yahweh Shai, how he was going to die for the nation, starting with the elect 
and how his flesh was not going to see corruption, meaning that he was actually going to be risen, you know, back from the dead. Okay, so that's what he's talking about. The, what was which was written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. And he said unto them, thus it is written. <laughs> and thus it behooved Mashiach to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. Okay, so that's basically what it is, you know, right there. This is just, you know, an, another installment of the three days and three nights. So hopefully this is edifying and, uh, you know, looking forward to uh, the rest of the series. So again, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings to you brothers and sisters throughout the four corners of the earth that are waiting on the deliverance of Yahweh Shai. Shalom.